Vikram Malhotra, thanks for joining us. It's a pleasure having you with us here on Eat Thank Now. Thank you. How are things looking to you when you look at it from the Indian shores? Uh, things actually are quite positive. I think uh, things really started to pick up quite significantly in the second half of 2009. Mm -hmm. You know, we had seen a downturn, obviously, in 08, uh, come emerge out of the developed world, but did hit the uh, growing markets here in Asia Pacific. But starting in the sec second half of 2009, we've seen a pretty significant pickup. You can see it from, um, you know, corporate earnings. You can see it from the market. You can see it from capital raising across the board. So we feel pretty good. Let's talk about market just for a moment to get a sense of what you feel about this significant foreign investment that's coming into the Indian stock market and the way it sort of crossed this psychological benchmark of 20,000. Do you think it's, it's sort of rushing all the way up or uh, is this uh, justifying the real stories? No, I think there is a real feeling around the world now, investors around the world, whether it's institutional investors, private banking type investors, high net worth, that the real growth and the most sustainable growth is going to be in the emerging markets, but specifically in the Asian emerging markets, and more so there between India and China. So I think the money that's coming here is real. I think the Indian market has benefited certainly quite a bit, and at least our strategists say it's pretty fully valued and fairly valued. Uh, at around the 20,000 uh, you know, level, uh, being in the high teens. But we don't think this is a flash in the pan. We think that these levels are justified given the underlying earnings we're seeing from companies. When you say that this you think is justified, what are the stories that are likely to be chased in the future, especially when you look at the kind of demand that's coming in, in resources, for example? There's been a lot of M&A uh, led by some of Indian conglomerates. Is the hunger and appetite alive? Yes, very much so. I think uh, from an investor perspective, the domestic consumer story is probably the one that has got a lot of appeal. So anything that touches you know, the consumer, uh, investors will pay very high multiples for, and we, we see that you know, across the board. Uh, on the resources 